can dance though. That's child. No, don't grind me though. <laughs> Hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my lovely poofy haired sister. What's up guys? Her hair is out of this world. Always. I don't know, like it's like expanding. It's it like, is. It's gonna take up the whole screen eventually. At some point, it's just gonna be Sika's hair. No! <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jackie? Oh, uh, hold on. Okay, wait, there wait. She is. Okay, this is what it's gonna look like. I don't know if you grains can see me. <laughs> you can't. No, nope. I'm the other half. I'm the hair. She's somewhere that way. <laughs> you just slapped me. Oh, my bad. Today we have three craft kits that were brought to me by Salty Crafter. Now I know these can or be- were they found like in a back alley forest as usual? Nope, hmm. not even. Okay. Okay, these are normally found on Amazon. However, they're so hard to find that oh. Salty Crafter went to Amazon's space. Yeah, you can see Salty Crafter just floating in space for some reason. She doesn't even need a helmet. She just floats. She's not human. It's not human. And look, she even found the craft kit kind of also flying into space and she just just picked it up and she just went and I don't know grains anything about salty crafter other than the fact that she brings me craft kits crap kits and sometimes crap kits for those of you who are new cash or trash is the episode where we find out if a craft kit is worth your cash or if it goes in the trash so our victims I mean kits the first one is fantasy critters I'm not quite sure what's going on here I don't think it's a sewing kit but it looks like we can make our own features. Okay. The boxes look really cute, by the way. They do. Next, we have glitter and foil art. I feel like this is maybe a scratch kit, but I'm not sure. That's what I was thinking, but I've never actually seen a foil art glitter kit. Right? Have you? No. Okay. 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 <laughs> and last but not least, we have magic water color. I'm really interested by this one more specifically because apparently the lines glow in the dark. So that's what we're going to find out together. Does it work? Stay tuned on Cash or Trash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below which one do you have the least hope on. I think Twitter for me. Thingy. Yeah, me too. I don't know. It looks weird. I'm not sure if we're going to even enjoy it. Probably not. We'll find out. I sent Sika to pick up a snack so that we can talk about today's sponsor, KiwiCo. For those of you who don't know KiwiCo, they are a monthly subscription box that not just ranges for one group of people, they have crates that range from the age of 0 to 104. And the amazing thing about these boxes is that they promote creativity, problem solving, and critical thinking. Because your grains know that when it comes to craft kits and learning activities, my expectations aren't down here, they're this big. Very big. And starting as low as $16.95 per crate, they have everything from Panda Crate that helps promote a learning foundation for little ones, Atlas Crate, which gives an appreciation of the world and cultures, all the way to Maker Crate, which has monthly craft projects that you can dabble a little bit of everything. And the idea behind these crates is also that they want them to be engaging, enriching, and fun. So it is an absolutely wonderful gift idea, especially for those of you who would love to promote more learning at home. And you grains know one of my favorite sentences Includes everything you need. Yeah, that one. Well, KiwiCo makes sure that these boxes do in fact include everything you need so you don't have to run out and get more stuff. Let me show you what I did with one of the boxes. This box really does feel like they give you everything you need. I didn't expect there to be a whisk or even a mat so that your surface stays clean. Additionally, the booklet that they give you lets you have a link to watch a video of how to do the project you were given. And also more resources so that you can take this project to a whole new level, so you don't have to just stop at the instructions they give you. Let's make our marble taper. Hot water, carrageenan, or make good resealable bags, yes! And whiskey, whiskey. Now we wait three hours. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And so I followed the instructional video step by step, putting dollop by dollop. And the process was so relaxing. Here's the end result. Holy carp! <gasps> so if you're looking for that perfect holiday gift for someone who is curious and creative, check the link in the description box below, kiwico.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 50% off your first box of any of the crates, not just one specific one, any of the ones that catches your interest. Thank you so much KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I may wave a sharp pointy thing and even let Sika do it because she's, oh, oh boy. Oh, don't let her do it. No, click all notifications while you're there. Give, give, no, give, this, no. give it back. No, I'm gonna wave it. Oh no. <laughs> don't do it. No. It's mine now. Welcome to Nerdy Crafter. It's me. <laughs> Welcome to Sika Crafter. Welcome to Sika No. Hey. It's my show. I'm gonna bite you. I'll wave away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch your mouth. 
You almost cut my finger. I almost did. You went for the blade. You go hard or go home. <laughs> don't go home don't though. Go home. Don't go home. Actually, stay home. Actually, yeah, don't stay, stay home. At $16.99, our first victim is Nebula Star Fantasy Critters. The box, again, is really cute. I love the design of the entire Nebula Stars series, but the last time we did a Nebula Stars, we did it a me. gem. It was meh. It was very meh. There was me. a really big learning curve, and they really assumed that you would know how to do it. Exactly. So for us, it was skeptical, skeptical. cash. Yeah, I think it was garbage for me. Was that possible? Let's rewind and play that part. For us, this kit is worth your cash only. Oh, hey. <laughs> only if you've actually watched this video knowing how important being compact and how deep the pipette needs to go. Yeah. My guess is the idea of this kit is we will get the egg shape. As you can see, once we turn it around, we have two sequin type egg shapes and then we have gems and wings and so on and so forth. So we get to customize our own creature. Unfortunately, it doesn't say our favorite sentence, which is includes everything you need. So it makes it hard for us to judge them. Oh, imagine it doesn't come with glue. Or is it like sticky stuff? Or pins. It but let's see what we get inside. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Sparkly dragon eggs. Look at that sparkle. But you also had a comment to say on these. Yeah, they're naked dragon eggs. Like, why can okay, I hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Calm down. <sighs> That's it. Breathe. Look, I can see the styrofoam in okay, the back. Okay, hang on. Stop moving. Stop moving. There is styrofoam, very well seeable, on my egg. <laughs> Are you okay, honey? Yes, I'm okay. What's wrong I'm with okay. your vocabulary? I, it's, this is my second job of the day, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. The words are gone from the first one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what she was trying to say... Seeable. Okay, get your hand out of the way. <laughs> let, let me do this, okay? Okay. Just be pretty for the camera. You're the pretty one. Oh, I'm the one with the brains. No. Okay, honey. Okay. <laughs> so what Seiko is trying to say is that these eggs, yes, they look really pretty. They're sequin, but they're cheap. They didn't put enough sequin, so now I can see the styrofoam. She doesn't like to see the booty of the egg. And especially sixteen ninety nine, was it or seventeen ninety nine? Yeah, sixteen ninety nine. They could have added a sequin or two. <laughs> and they're not even consistent. No, because this one's fine. This one's just missing one, and this one's missing like maybe three. I'd say it could have covered it. Yeah, something like that. Or if they really didn't want to, they could have colored the bottom. Yeah. So that at least, oh, it does stand. I take that back. Maybe the whole point of not covering the bottom is so that it does stand. Oh, it stands. They won't stand. It just stands funny, and it's fine. It's just different. It's allowed to be different. It is allowed to be different. And if a sequin wants to be different, it will be different, and it's okay. It's broken but beautiful. Okay. Shameless plug: the broken but beautiful merch is still available. Link will be in the description box below. Okay. You're extra today. <laughs> Little pins. Oh no, honey, come here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen you. I know. I missed you too. <laughs> We get some sticker gems. We get wings and eyes. Some findings. I'm pretty sure this is going to be used as a picture holder, but I also see a suction right here, so we could probably also hang it. I think this is like more decorations. I would say so too. And last but not least, we get instructions. instructions. Let's go ahead and read the instructions. When I say we, I say Sika. Me. As per usual. And I'm just gonna look at the pictures. So immediately upon looking at the instructions, Sika noticed that they really want us to do the exact pattern that they give you. You have no space for creativity. They really give you, let's say they give you six sparkles and they tell you exactly where those six sparkles go. Yeah, so we're basically going to be following the instructions and let's make one together. Yeah, sure. Collaborate with me. I guess. Please. Collaboration, hey. Ow. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Grains, I think she's getting the YouTuber syndrome. Probably. What's up, Grains? Hey, what's up, yo? <laughs> that is so fake. I can't do it. This is just... No, 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 no. Censor her because we do not want copyright claims. You can dance, though. Dance, child. No, don't grind me, though. <laughs> All right, let's do the doing. <laughs> so as we started putting the gems on the wings, there was really nothing special about it other than the fact that Sika was struggling. The gems were really small and they were sticking to my fingers, okay? Okay, but let's hear what she had to say about it. In case your grains are wondering nothing what it's happened. like crafting with Nothing Sika. happened! <laughs> nothing happened! <laughs> she lost quite a bit of those... Look, look at the quite grains. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. You are exaggerating. The drama queen? <laughs> you can't get it off. What? Not Am I being the drama queen? You said you can't get it on? I said I couldn't get it off my finger. Mm. You whoa! <laughs> whoa! You watch your mouth! <laughs> 
Oh no! Oh my god, this is so slippery. So as you saw, I am struggling quite a bit in order to get this pinned on there. We really need to pin these two first and then the other four. And I am struggling getting this. So why don't you put the pin through before getting it through the egg? That is really clever. Mm -hmm. Just do it. What? Nothing. Just do it. <laughs> What'd you say? That I'm the stupid one. I didn't say you were stupid. I said you you're said the you pretty. You said you were the smart one. Yeah, apparently. And I'm wrong on that one. They you say, your fingers, please? get a sister, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No one said it was gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, so here, right? And then... In the middle. This. Oh, oh there you go. Not yourself, please. Don't worry, I'm okay. Okay. See, I knew I had my sister come here for a reason. She's smart sometimes and most times I'm she not. can think outside the box sometimes you okay I'm, yeah i'm complimenting you this is as far as sisterly compliment will go <laughs> i know that's why i'm not like there's no effect no effect no effect like you're okay with this yeah i guess <laughs> One of the things that we noticed is that the glue does not stick to the actual metal. Even mine here, oh my god, wants to actually peel, peel. off. Oh yeah, I can see it on yours. Oof. Oh, wow. You see? No glue. No glue. None for you. You don't deserve glue. Put it back on and then peel it the other way, maybe. Oh, ah, there you go. On my finger. So we're already getting pretty annoyed when it comes to these gems and these stickers because look at that. Okay, bye glue. Yeah. It's obviously very cheap quality when it comes to this gem thing. We're gonna finish. So far, I'm feeling pretty salty. I am really salty too and I think the salt shaker behind Sika is also feeling pretty salty and it's most likely- Oh, there it is, it changed. I knew it. When it's not happy, it turns red. Hopefully the eyes stick well. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And in you go. Oh, we don't want it to look wonky. So <laughs> There you go. I'll follow you. I uh, know. <laughs> there. So now as we're putting it together, our experience feels like this is not good quality. It's also not a very fun activity so far from what I'm feeling. Well, especially because they really force you to do that one pattern that they gave you. Yeah, that's basically it. The metal that we had to put inside was so bendy. Flimsy. I understand that we have to twirl it, but then again... We couldn't stab it. It was just like bending every time. And Seek and I, we were talking and we feel like this activity can easily be put together through a kit that you can buy from the dollar store. Just buy some foam, buy some push pins, get some felt and some gems. It wouldn't cost you more than five dollars. Yeah, so $16.99 was it? Yup. No. For us, even though it works, it's poor quality, so it goes in the trash! <laughs> And also the character looks really funny. Sika said it looks like um an overdressed person going to a party that's not rightly themed. Yeah, it's like, hey, I'm hey, in a theme. Hey, oh, were we not getting dressed? Ooh, oh, um, can I just go back to my car? I'll get yeah, I'll change. Like, okay. Like, don't worry about it. <laughs> looks like we have experience with that. Yeah. <laughs> I was underdressed once for a wedding. What? Yeah, they didn't tell me it was a wedding. Oh, no. Yeah, they said it was, you know, it's just a get together. We're just, you know, hanging out. And it turns out it was a wedding reception. Everyone was dressed in a dress, wedding attire, suits. And here I was with my tights. Where was I? Um, not at the wedding. <laughs> it's our cousin. <laughs> was I not invited? What happened? No. What is this? Oh, <laughs> what cousin was this? Our next kit. Nebula Stars Glitter and Foil Art. This looks absolutely beautiful. My biggest worry is that the front of the box kind of looks, you know... Photoshopped? Mm-hmm. As per usual. As per usual, which makes me just a little skeptical. Like, this is me. See, my face is right between my fingers. And that's me. I think, I think your salt is skeptical too in the back. Oh, it's still red. Okay, stay red, little salt. It knows best. But again, I'm going to stay a little skeptical, but hopeful. See, it's it's kind of changing between skeptical and hopeful between my fingers. What are you doing? Here, I'm holding one of them. I don't know oh. which one I'm holding, but I'm holding one. Okay, so you're gonna hold skeptical because you're saltier than I am. So my guess is the idea of this box is we should be able to use glues and foil in order to make the art stand out. I have no idea. I've never done anything like this before. So hopefully it's not just an activity that you could pick up at the dollar store. Then again, we did do a review on dollar store craft kits. So they were pretty great. They were great. Yeah, I was it, impressed. I will link it down below. She's in there too. I'm in there. So you can enjoy her company. Mm -hmm. Link is down below. But first, let's see what we get inside. Don't hurt me though. I'll try. Pull. Whoa. Oh, that was my wrist. I'm sorry. It's okay. 
<laughs> Here's what we get inside. We get three illustrations, one as a butterfly. Next one is a really <laughs> cute squiddy octopus thing. Octopus? Did you not hear it? I heard it after I said it. <laughs> I hit my nose on you, but that was hilarious. Oh you God. heard nothing. <laughs> and the last one is a really cute character, which remind me of the dolls that Dollightful customizes. I think they're called Monster High. Yeah, I think it's the Monster High. They're really cute. We get different foils. These are really pretty. I really like the hollow one. Yeah, I know. I'm like obsessed with it right now. We also get four tubes of glitter. We get some tools, which is like this really pathetic brush and a... What is this? Like a... Remember we were singing it. Smooth, smooth applicator! applicator. <laughs> <laughs> applicator. Yeah, it's a smoothing uh, applicator. It's applicator. Yeah, we were singing off camera grains. It is... <laughs> If you think chaotic. it's chaos on camera, it's worse in person. Mm -hmm. So this wonky brush, look at that. Even it's, it's saying head up. It is saying head up. Head up. How do you have glitter on you? I don't know. I touched How did glitter. That happen? They say glitter is like an STI. <laughs> See, so even this here is almost like a nose hair poking yeah. out of someone. You know that nose hair that pokes yeah, and out you're of just someone's like... nose, and you're like, I just want to pull it out. And yeah, it just doesn't feel good. I'm not sure what it's for, but we'll find out soon enough. We get so many gems. Last but not least, instructions. So we're going to go ahead and read the instructions <laughs> and let your grains know exactly what we're supposed to do because there's no glue. But my guess is that the glue is yep. when we peel yep. these things off. It says remove a protective paper section from the canvas. Use a plastic tool to transfer the foil paper. Mm -hmm. Add rhinestones before pouring glitter powder. What? Yeah, add the rhinestones before you add the glitter powder. I'll go bite you. No, no, no. <laughs> so according to the instructions, all we have to do is remove it section by section of the adhesive on the actual picture, place whatever foil or glitter that we want, and then just move on to the next section. Seems pretty straightforward, but we'll tell you how we feel as we're doing it. Just letting you grains know that we are working with photoshopped references, and it seems like they want us to use more glitter than actual foil. We'll see how far they go. Immediately, one of the things that Sika noticed is when we are peeling the areas that we're supposed to color ourselves. It's peeling off the colors that are supposed to stay there, so it's very... Cheaply made is, yeah, I think, the word she's looking exactly. for. Exactly, because the eyes come out, um, the whole background actually comes off, like I almost accidentally peeled the whole background back. <laughs> yeah, and then not just that, watch the dollar store craft kit haul. Mm -hmm. The one we got from the store... The scratchy one. I messed up my words. The dollar store. The dollar store one. Actually had a printed part where they wanted the colors to stay. stay. And then the rest you can scratch off. So this should be done the same way. It should be printed and then stickers for what you should remove because or else you're accidentally removing other things. Especially at $16. And I'm also an adult. It should be easier for me to not mess up, but uh, no, 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 nope, no, nope. no. Nope. <laughs> And not just that, but apparently we got glitter a little bit of everywhere. Check this out. Oh no, my felt. I have glitter all over me. That's too. Oh no, Sika, you have <laughs> glitter everywhere. Honey. So apparently Sika says, oh no, I have it in my eyebrows. Yes. Wow. Yes. Oh, shit. Oh, watch your mouth. There's so much glitter in my I hair. I know. But overall, this is actually a really cute activity. It was relaxing, but it is unfortunately pretty cheaply made. They do not give us enough foil. No, definitely not enough foil, especially if you want to do all three projects. Like, you're not going to have enough foil for everything, that's for sure. No. So, I would say that... Skeptical cash? We like the idea, but we don't like the price or the cheapness of it. So this kit is Skeptical, skeptical Cash. <laughs> and definitely make sure that you have a napkin or something because this is glitter everywhere. Messy. So far it hasn't been good for nebulous stars. One is in the cash. One is in the cash. The other one is skeptical. One is in the cash. Is that what she said? Is that what I said? Yeah, I think you said one of them is in the cash. One of one of them is cash? No. Skeptical? And no. Oh. Why am I so confused? I don't know what's <laughs> happening. I don't know, my brain is mashed potato. Look, there's mashed potato on my brain. Don't eat it though. Well, you didn't feed me yet. I did. No, you didn't. I let you eat. My own food, which is like <laughs> canned tuna. I'm I'll give starving. you snacks later, okay? Just hang on. Be patient. You will get snacks 
later. Okay, the be patient. The deal is you feed me before. I know that the hashtag feed Sika is still a thing. I see it very clearly in the comment section. Before. You ate though. Wait, no! That was like my lunch from work. It's busy, so I only got to eat it like at lupper time. Lupper? Lunch and supper, lupper. You know, like brunch, like breakfast, lunch. Yeah. Lunch and supper. Pretty lupper. sure that's not a thing. It's a, well, it's a thing now. It's called lupper. <laughs> <laughs> so as I was saying, one was skeptical, the other was in the trash, and this one here comes in at twenty dollars. I feel like a lot of this is cheaply made, but because the boxes look really beautiful, and as you very can good see, they're quality boxes too, huh? Did you notice? I it's feel like a nice box. Yeah, they put more effort into the box. In the actual kit. Yeah, that's true. Which is really upsetting in a sense. Right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Magic watercolor definitely has me a little bit more hopeful than the previous ones, even though the skeptical one was kind of nice, it was still just cheaply made. So my worry is that, first of all, it's just not going to glow in the dark nicely, and also that the watercolor itself is just going to be bad quality. I'm really curious about the pigments, so we'll find out together. But to do that, gotta see what we get inside. It bounces. Why does my head sound hollow? It's the box. Are you sure it's not my head? I'd like to think it's the box. You're my smart one. You're the smart one. You're my smart one. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. Five illustrations, and I know you can't see them just yet, but I will show you what they look like. So we do have a cute kind of fantasy castle, a unicorn, a kitty cat with On its back. Moon. I know, it's like I like it. Moon. I love it. And then there's a kitty corn. corn with the shooting stars. Shooting stars. And a girl. With like luscious hair. Very luscious. More but luscious than me. Nope. Me. I was about to say, you have the most luscious hair ever. Okay? Still and if anyone me. wants to have more luscious hair than you, I will fight them. My hair is falling out. I mean, look what happened at the beginning of the video. You totally took over the entire screen with your hair. And then you punched me. <laughs> But as you can see on the illustration, by the way, the paper does seem like watercolor quality, but I feel like we're still going to have to tape it down so that it doesn't warp. And you can see that the outline of the characters is made in some kind of glue, Sika assumes? Yeah, I think it's like um, glow-in-the-dark glue. Yeah, so we'll find out. We're gonna do a glow-in-the-dark test right now, and also once we finish coloring it. Speaking of color... So we get a palette of 12 colors. And they really seem like really pretty colors. My only issue is that they don't give us white, so we can't make the colors lighter. And the two pinks kind of are very similar mm -hmm. in my opinion. But I think it's watercolor, so just using less water should, in essence, make it lighter. lighter. Technically. We get two very nice looking brushes. Although I don't think they're watercolor brushes, but that's just me. I think these are acrylic brushes. Most probably. I mean, it looks better than Crayola's. Yes. 100%. Alright, so it is quite dark because we closed off all the lights except for the ones right above us. We did give it a boost of light with UV light just to see how well it'll do in the dark. Sika, you are so fidgety. <laughs> I like the they were in Can the you way. put those brushes away? Child, you done? They were in the way! No! <laughs> okay, okay, let's turn the lights off and exposure. Wow, that is nice. Do you see the salt shaker? Look, look. Oh, that is pretty. <laughs> okay, salt shaker off. Okay, and here it is. You grains can see, and in person, it actually glows nicely yeah, too. Yeah, it does. It's actually really nice glow. Yeah, I'm curious to see it after the painting. The painting, yeah. So if the let's... water affects it in any way. Yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and start what are putting you gonna this. Feed me? I did I'm starving. I, I can't did... work like this. I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna get a snack. Yeah. You're not gonna let me do this alone, right? Okay, bye. And here are the colors. How do you? There you go. And of course, they don't give us any containers to put water in, not that $20 doesn't deserve it. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the colors by spritzing some water. And let's start with our gorgeous brown. And the pigment is... Oof. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I guess it's okay, but not the best quality watercolor I've seen out there. When it comes to the swatches, I really wasn't disappointed, nor was I impressed. It really feels like a Crayola quality type of watercolor. It does leave this weird chalky residue, but then again, that could be an aesthetic that some people like, so I'm not going to really comment on that. So as I started to paint, I realized that these brushes really don't want to hold any kind of moisture for water coloring. Ignore the fact that I'm just going willy willy wash Washy, washy, willy, willy washy over the entire thing. I just wanted to see how well the brushes work with the actual paint. Spoiler, not so good. And the fact that we paid $20 for this kit, they don't give us any tape, 
They don't give us any containers, and the brushes are just not suitable, at least not for this illustration. My goal in painting this wasn't to make the prettiest thing, it's just to see how it's going to look now that we're turning the lights off. All right, so here we go, moment of truth, and there we go. That is really pretty. I am impressed, especially because I didn't put it in any kind of direct sunlight. I didn't give it any extra chance. It was just in a well-lit room. Yeah, it works. And so really my biggest concerns for $20 is no tape, no proper brushes, and um, no water containers. Since Sika abandoned me, I'm gonna give my verdict all by myself. Hi. You're back. Yeah. After all this time and yeah. all the work that I put into it, you're just coming, what, what are you eating? My last snack. So you had a series of snacks. Wow. Well, I... Lupper, since you didn't give me lupper. Okay. Yeah, I'm really hungry, but now like this is the top. Yeah, this is the cherry on top. Since I wanted bubble tea, but you didn't get me bubble tea. <laughs> So in essence, I think this kit, despite its shortcomings, it was quite fun. So I would say skeptical cash. <laughs> Remember, don't forget to add me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And if you want to reach Sika, you can find me at nerdy sisters underscore Sika on Instagram. <laughs> if you want to watch the previous cash or trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a video YouTube thinks is just right for you, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.